The IoT Show is on the road. We are at Ignite 2019, and I found Deepak from the Time Series Insights team to talk to us about the new integration between TSI and Power BI. That's today on the IoT Show. You're watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and as you can see, we are at Ignite 2019. And I found Deepak from the TSI team. Deepak, thanks for joining us on the show. Thanks, Olivier, for having me on the show. So your team has been releasing tons of new features in Time Series Insights, and um, one of them is the integration with Power BI. Yes. So before we jump into the topic, quick introduction of yourself to our audience, yes, and definitely. then we'll talk about Power BI integration with TSI. Definitely. Hello, everyone. My name is Deepak Palet. I'm a product manager on Time Series Insights team. Uh, I'm super excited to be at Ignite, releasing all the new capabilities that we have to offer to our customers, one of which is Warm Store and our integration with Power BI Connector. So why would someone want to integrate TSI with Power BI? What are the common scenarios we're seeing out there? Uh, so there are two categories, uh, uh, there are two scenarios in which you know, customers want to integrate data from uh, TSI and Power BI. One of which is integrating the data that is there in TSI with other data yeah. coming from their line of business applications. Yeah. That is one common scenario that we have learned from our customers. And the second scenario is additional charting options. So TSI gives you know all the visuals uh, yeah. that are specific to time series analytics. But if you want additional analytical charts uh, that Power BI has to offer, you can definitely import the data from TSI yeah. into Power BI and do it. Makes sense. And you can also have an existing set of dashboards in Power BI that's been developed and that you've been using and you want to integrate the data from TSI into these existing dashboards. Exactly. So our goal with uh, harnessing the, the power of data within Power BI is to say, hey, how can I connect all the systems that I care for yeah. from where I want to do some analytics or like analyze the KPIs yeah. for my business, how can I bring them together? So we joining the bandwagon of Power BI with YR Connector is completing that story for our customers who use TSI. Awesome. Let's jump into your demo. I think you, you have something about correlating data, yes. leveraging Power BI and TSI. Yeah. So in this demo, we'll uh, go through exploring the data that we collect from our campus building yeah. 121. Okay. So this is the environment that we use to understand the uh, data that is coming from our building and all the sensors okay. within that building. In this demo, let's go and explore some of the sensors. So if you see all of these uh, new capabilities that we have released, in which you can go and say, hey, you know, there is this app, there is this list of all the hierarchies that we have, yeah. and you know all the uh, uh, additional attached uh, capabilities that we get with those hierarchies. Okay. In this case, we are exploring these three sensors here, okay. where you know you are saying, hey, what is this device uh, one two one zero eight one zero underscore AI underscore one zero? There yeah. is this sensor which actually consumes the power, okay. and it uh, provides the power to all the uh, components that are there around, you know, or attached to that okay. sensor, right? Okay. So at the same time, you know, there are like these additional three sensors yeah. through which you know I can go and see, hey, what is the power consumption for last six days? Now let's okay. say, you know, to make this interesting, I want to say, okay, for me the interval is instead of 10 minutes, I can say 12 minutes, and then yeah. I say, okay, I like this data, now let me take this data and connect this with Power BI. Okay. When, you know, I use this capability, I'm given an option. Okay. Either I can uh, take the aggregated data that I'm visualizing here, yeah. or I can say, hey, you know what, I want raw data. I yeah. mean, all the raw data that is powering the chart. So you can choose, like customers can choose between these yeah. two, and then they say, okay, copy this to the clipboard. Okay. Then what we do, we go to Power BI, I just loaded the Power BI, but I, again, I'm, I'll just go and say, hey, let me go and get the data. Yeah. And uh, when you get the data, we have a new uh, connector there called Time okay. Series Insights Connector. Okay. So in this connector is where you will go and say connect. And then this is where you'll paste the query that you copied from, you know, uh, okay. the uh, T uh, our uh, browser to get experience. the right set of data that you've been uh, deciding to explore from TSI. Correct. Okay. So when you paste that here and click OK, so what we do at this point is we do authentication yep. of uh, your access to the environment. And okay. once because you know I've already accessed this environment, it is uh, authenticated. Okay. So it tries to go through AD, and you know depending on your access, it goes to the backend and it pulls the same set of data. Excellent. Now I got that here, and I'll say okay, let me go and go ahead and load this data. Okay. So now what is happening in the background? This connector is going to our query APIs yeah. and it is collecting the same data in a similar fashion, like how I was exploring that within the realm okay. of TSI. Yeah. And then what it does is it tries to load that data in the queries here. If you see here, yeah. you have this query two that you have. So the beauty now is, now you know the grain at which you collected and you know the timestamp at which you collected. Then, you know, what you can do is you can do modeling within uh, 
a Power BI, and yeah. you can say, hey, now I have this for the interest of time. You know, what I did was I collected the asset data in one of the uh, uh, other query that is there in Power BI, and I said, okay, for me, the date is the correlation or like the modeling factor okay. that I'll take into account and say, hey, for me, in that particular date, how many assets were using the power? Okay. So that is what I'm trying to correlate now. Here, the possibility is limitless. You can connect this with any line of business applications. Like you can get your ERP data and try to correlate that with, hey, I have a sensor yeah. that is you know, tracking the uh, logistic movement of my shipments. Yeah. I want to connect that with what is there in the shipment yeah. and see yeah. that you yeah. can explore all of that within Power BI. Yeah. Yeah. Now quickly what I did was I created a chart here. It is simple. I mean, I can, we can create one live. You can say, okay, let me go ahead and get the um, query one. I'll say, okay, let me go ahead and get the timestamp. And then you know I'll say okay for this timestamp give me what is the maximum speed, minimum speed, and yeah. uh, average speed. Okay. Then I want to go ahead and project it in a chart. So yes. it is so straightforward. Now, just for fun, let me go ahead and throw a slicer for this. I'll say okay I want timestamp as a slicer. Okay. All of these are Power BI features by the way. We are just using them. Yeah. And we are just trying to correlate them now. With the time mm -hmm. and the data that is coming from TSI, I want to correlate that with the assets that were there within that building. Hey, okay. coming at from this another point, source of data, no longer it's a TSI. different okay. data source through which you know we set it up. Yeah. And here I'll say, okay, for me, what were the total assets that were there during this time frame? Let me okay. see if I can go and pull that here. And I'll say again, you know, this is a slicer for me. Uh -huh. Now, I have this chart powered by you know the data that is coming from TSI. Yeah date coming from you know correlation between these two yeah. and then i can say okay what were the total asset counts okay give me all the asset counts where you know the where the, uh, the asset usage was more than 173 okay i can start correlating it this way to drive uh, meaningful insights well, pretty straightforward that with the power of power bi yes <laughs> the power of power bi yes and tsi as the source of the timestamp data correct you can definitely like start now working in a Power BI environment yes. that you're familiar with. Yes. With and IT data. Exactly. And you know our goal as we go towards GA, yeah. our goal is to say, hey, how can we integrate with the rest of Microsoft ecosystem so that you know we have integration points with yeah. all the products that we have to offer for our customers. That way, customers store it once, they reuse, integrate, derive insights out of it, and you know improve their business. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Deepak. Thanks for watching the IoT show and this particular one about the integration between TSI and Power BI. To learn more, go to aka.ms slash IoT show slash TSI Power BI in one word. And you'll learn more about this new integration. Thanks Deepak, hope to see you soon. Thanks Olivier, thanks for the opportunity. Good to see you again.